Welcome back, guys. In my first resin snail tutorial, I made this gorgeous little snail here. And while I'm absolutely in love with how he looks, the insides just don't jiggle as much as I'd like. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to try my hand with mica powder. Before we get into that, here is a quick thing of my socials. You will be able to find me more on Instagram, or if you are interested in purchasing from me, definitely message me on Etsy. I also wanted to try a black snail because, you know, yin and yang, got a white snail, gotta get a black snail. So we're using this pigment here by Illumilite. Now, this is my all-time go-to favorite black pigment ever, and I only added a little bit because I didn't want it to be a solid black. I wanted to keep it translucent. I go a little bit more in depth on my original snail video, so definitely check that out. But I am letting the resin pour down into the cavity of the shell. This helps it from making bubbles. Now I'm only wearing one glove here, so don't come after me, but I had my reasons for not wearing a second glove, okay? Also, I must have had beginner's luck with my first white snail because this Christmas bowl did not want to stay in place. So when you're doing this, definitely monitor it, make sure it doesn't slip out of place. So now I'm going to go ahead and add the distilled water to the Christmas bulb. I mixed in the chameleon or mica powder into the distilled water prior to me adding it to the bulb. I did this to ensure that all the powder actually mixed in and wasn't clumpy. I'm still pretty new to the whole idea of making tutorials for YouTube, so I apologize that I didn't actually show me mixing the mixture for the liquid core, but it is available in the upper right hand corner. I also linked all these supplies down below. A little bit about me, I am clumsy as F. So here I am again, spilling water everywhere. Make sure you dry that up. Since I did a gorgeous iridescent snail in the first video, I thought I would go ahead and pick up these flakes, which have a brighter, more metallic color shift than the clear iridescent ones that I used in the first video. These flakes were actually gifted to me by Island, Mica, and more. I received them in a resin swap on Facebook, but I will leave the link down below. So for the snail's body, I went ahead and just did a solid black, again, using that Illumilite black dye. Um, I will most definitely link that because it is awesome. I love it. It's so dark. And now I'm going to go ahead and speed this up because nobody's got time to watch me struggle with this mold. I really love how the mica and the chameleon flakes inside of this like shift around and stuff looks super magical and it's really satisfying to watch but if I had to redo this I would definitely add either Elmer's glue or glycerin just to slow it down a little bit so it's way more satisfying. I've already got ideas for snail number three and I'm definitely using that glue so please 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 subscribe come back and see what all I'm making. I have so many ideas to share with you guys and because Instagram is going towards more of like a TikTok platform I just can't show it all. I just can't show it all in a minute video so definitely subscribe Come check me out again. I promise you won't regret it.